For this question, I would like to explain how to compute a nominal GDP, real GDP, GDP deflator, and inflation rate. So let's look at this question together. Okay, so this gives you the table, and then you can notice this country only produced chocolate and the watches, right? Pay attention when you look at this type of the questions. It will tell you. The base year is two thousand and nine. Okay, so this is very important. The base year is two thousand and nine. Now it gives you the four, like the four different years, right, from two thousand and eight to two thousand eleven, and then it tells you the different price of their box of chocolate. And then the production in different years of chocolates. It also tells you the price of the watches from two thousand and eight to two thousand and eleven, and also gives you the output of the watches here. Okay. Then the first question would like to ask you to compute the nominal GDP, real GDP, and GDP deflator for two thousand and eight. Okay. The second question will ask you to compute the inflation rate. For two thousand and ten, and then let's solve for those two questions one by one. Let's look at the first one. Okay, how to compute the nominal GDP, real GDP, and GDP deflator in two thousand and eight? So, if you still remember when we talk about nominal GDP, we should use the current price times the current quantity, right? So, we use the current price times the Current output. And when we talk about real GDP, okay, so real GDP will be different. We will use base year's price times the current output. And then for the GDP deflator. So GDP deflator, it will equal to nominal GDP divide real GDP times one hundred. Okay, so this will give us the GDP deflator, and then based on GDP deflator, we can compute inflation rate. So let's look at the first question. Nominal GDP in two thousand and eight. Then I think for this one, I can just write it down. Nominal GDP for two thousand and eight will equal to current price of chocolate four dollars times the current output one hundred boxes, right? Plus the price for watches equal to fifty, and then times the quantity of the watch equal to ten. So totally, we can get the nominal GDP equal to nine hundred dollars, right? Now, based on the real GDP's formulas, then we can get the real GDP in two thousand and eight. So the real GDP in two thousand and eight will equal to base year's price. Two thousand and nine is the base year. So look at two thousand and nine. The price of the chocolate equal to five dollars. Okay, so it's five dollars times one hundred. This is the current output for two thousand and eight plus. The price of the watches still equal to fifty dollars, okay, and then times the current output ten. So, the real GDP in two thousand and eight will equal to one thousand, okay. So, based on this, we can compute the GDP deflator in two thousand and eight. So, for GDP deflator in two thousand and eight, it will equal to Nominal GDP divide real GDP right times one hundred. So we will write it down: nine hundred divide one thousand times one hundred. So finally, it will give us the GDP deflator equal to ninety. Okay, so that will be the answers for the first question. Now let's look at the second one. So the second one asks you to compute. Inflation rate for two thousand and ten. So for inflation rate, how can we compute the inflation rate? The inflation rate in two thousand and ten it will equal to 
this will be the formulas, okay? It will equal to GDP defrater in 2010 minus GDP defrater. I'll just write down GDP defrater. Okay, D represents for defrater. In 2009, divide GDP defrater in 2009 and then times 100%. So this is the way that we can compute the inflation rate in 2010. So first we need to know what's the GDP deflator in 2009. So based on the given information, okay, 2009 is the base year. So in base year, okay, I will write it down here. In base year, We have the nominal GDP in 2009 will equal to real GDP in 2009. Therefore, in the base year, the GDP deflator in 2009 will equal to nominal GDP divided to real GDP. So it equal to 1 times 100. So this is true for any base year's GDP deflator. Okay, so GDP deflator in 2009 will equal to nominal GDP divide real GDP times 100. Okay, so that will be, we can exactly get the GDP deflator in 2009. Then, how can we get a GDP deflator in 2010? So, how can we get a nominal GDP in 2010? So, the nominal GDP in 2010, it will just equal to the current price, $5, right? For the chocolate times the output for chocolate, 100 boxes, plus the prices of the watches equal to 60 times 15 quantity for watches, right? So here we can get the nominal GDP in 2010 will equal to $1,400, okay? And similarly, we can get the real GDP in 2010 will equal to, using the base year's price, okay? $5 times current quantity plus the watches in 2009 will equal to $50, okay? So 50 times 15, so we get the real GDP will equal to $1,250, okay? So that will be the real GDP in 2010. And based on the nominal GDP and real GDP, we can get a GDP deflator, right? So here we can get the GDP deflator. In 2010 will equal to nominal GDP, 1400 divide the real GDP $1,250 times 100. So this will give us the GDP deflator in 2010 will equal to 112. Okay, and based on this, we can we now have the GDP deflator in 2009. We have GDP deflator in 2010. Then we can compute the inflation rate. Okay, so the inflation rate here will equal to, I'll just write it down here, okay? I know it's a little bit, there is a small space here, so i just write it down. The real GDP, sorry, the inflation rate will equal to, I will use the not a cutter, okay? So the inflation rate here will equal to, one hundred and twelve minus 100, okay? Divide 100, because 112 is the GDP deflator in 2010, and 100 is the GDP deflator in 2009. So we use this 112, subtract 100, divide 100, and times 100%, which will give us the inflation rate will equal to 
okay so this is the way that we can figure out how to get the inflation rate okay so in order to get inflation rate first step you need to get a GDP deflator and in order to get a GDP deflator you should know the nominal GDP and real GDP okay I hope this video will be a little bit helpful for you to compute the nominal GDP real GDP GDP deflator and inflation rate